Hey everyone, it's me, Psychedelic Babe, and in this video, I am going to be reviewing the JBL Pro Scan that I got in the post yesterday. Now, a lot of you have been really interested in seeing how well this works, so without further ado, let's crack on and let's get this video started. Now, first of all, I'm going to empty the contents of the box. Now, inside the box, you've got your usual, you've got your nice little leaflet, you've got the colour coordinated chart which is specially designed by JBL. Whatever you do for this test, do not lose this card. It's vital that you keep that card at all times. And then, oh, we have the test strips. And there's 24 test strips in this. And it's a really good kit, it is. There's 24 test strips in there in total. And with this, you can test your nitrate, your nitrate, your chlorine, your CO2, water hardness, your pH, your KH and it's supposed to be foolproof. It's supposed to be super super easy to use so who better to test it on than a newbie like me who doesn't generally do water tests and doesn't know anything about water tests so without further ado let's crack on and let's see how well this works or how well I can mess it up. <laughs> Right, first off, we've got our little booklet and it's all written out in every single language possible. It took me a while before I got to the English section. So it's in every single language, so it's open to everyone to use. It's highly available on the market by JBL. You can purchase it via their website or you can also purchase it via eBay or Amazon. There's also a few other little retailers that sell it. So it is easy to get your hands on this little gadget and it looks a really cool little gadget. Right, now in the box, as I've told you, you get the specially calibrated JBL ProScan colour card. And all you have to do is follow the instructions via the app that you're actually going to download on your smartphone or on your Android phone. Now I'm really glad that I can actually do this video this way because I've just bought a new camera as you all know, so I'm using my camera to record so I can use that quite easily now and show you what it is I need to do. Now if you go to the side of the box, it, it's got the QR readers that you need. So whatever phone you're using, just click on the one that you use and it will do this. Cute little picture of my grandson. You just unlock my phone. Yeah, now you all know my code. Good job none of you live near me. <laughs> so we've now downloaded the JBL Pro Scan app. Now we just click on the app, it tells you what it's going to be testing for. And we go down to the bottom and it says Scan and saving and comparing here you manage your aquariums and your ponds. Compare the measurements with the history function for a quick scan without save measurement. So you get the two options there and you've got the extras which I won't go into just yet. So we'll do the quick scan. Now I'm actually testing my Trophius tank, so we get to choose the aquarium, a pond, water or look at your last reading, so we're going to do aquarium. Now before I actually quick click on aquarium, let me just take a test strip out. So we take a test strip, quite a big test strip, and we'll press aquarium. And it just says how to use. Press the start button and immerse the analyst strip into the water for three seconds. Shake the remaining water off sideways. Position the strip onto the colour card and wait until the display time has expired. After the time has expired, the recording window opens. Now scan the analyst strip, analyst strip with the complete colour card to obtain your results. Pay attention to sufficient brightness without reflections and shadows. And hence why I am sitting in my little kitchen on the floor. So we press start. And then countdown begins. And we'll dip our strip in the water. Three seconds. Wipe it sideways. And then we add it. There. And we just leave it there now until the counter goes down. Now, depending on the analysis results of this, 
I'll receive an individual recommendation about which JBL products will help me to set the ideal water values within my tank. So with the water option you'll get a simple summary of the results without an evaluation of your water sample. So make sure you bear that in mind. So we've got 13 seconds left and so far this is quite effortless, it's really easy. I'm just hoping that it gives me the results that I want. There we go. Now it's asking me to take a picture. So we go, we lean above our scan chart and it takes a picture. And then it gives us our results. So let's have a look. Your aquarium volumes on the 17th of May at 4.34. My nitrate is 18. My nitrite is at 0.25. Total hardness, 14. Carbonate hardness at 6. pH is at 7. Chlorine at 0. Carbon dioxide is 15. So we'll press details. And it says, my nitrate, 18, everything all right. Nitrite is slightly too high. So that could be in the, of the beneficial cleansing bacteria. Measure more frequently to monitor the value. If necessary, add a double dosage of bacterial preparation to the aquarium. These are the products that might help. Some filter start, Denatrol. Now I've actually got some fill to start in, so I might actually throw a pipette of that into the tank. So that was quite good to find out. My total hardness is 14, that's okay. My carbonate hardness is 6, and that's okay. My pH is 7, and that's okay. Now I disagree with that because it's my trophius tank, and it should actually be at 8.3. Because I did actually start using my buffer again the other day, so that should be at 8.3. So I might um, put a little bit more buffer into the tank. Chlorine, zero, everything okay. Carbon dioxide, 15, everything okay. So as you can see by that result, that was pretty good. So I'm going to save that reader. Would you like to save the reading under your last measurement? Yes. So that's saved. We go back. That's now saved there on my phone. So when I do my next reading, I can compare it with that and see if it's made any difference. So there you have it. That was so simple. It was easy. It was effortless. It's given me perfect readings. It's told me my tank's perfect. The only thing I need to worry about is the bacterial. But we knew that already because I've done quite a few changes in the tank. So that, that explained that perfectly. So, for all of you out there who wanted to know how well the ProScan works, there you have it. It's simple, it's easy. Trust me, if I can do it, then anyone can do it. Now, when I did my master test kit set that I got the other day from API, I had a few problems reading everything and understanding the colours and how it should be and what it was and things like that. So this app has actually helped me a lot because I don't need to know them figures. Well, sorry, I should put, I should word that better. I do need to know these figures, but while I'm trying to learn and figure out what these figures are, this test is going to do me perfectly. So I am going to be using the JBL Pro Scan till I've used all the 24 strips that are in the tub, and then hopefully by the time I've finished using this test kit. I should know everything that I need to know about what I'm testing, how I'm testing it, and why I'm testing it. And then I can move on to the next advanced stage of the API Master Test Kit. Or maybe I might even get the Combi Set Kit off JBL that they're doing for my competition because that looks a really sophisticated water kit. So. There you have it. There's the review on the Pro JBL Pro Scan. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you want to check it out further, then feel free to go over to the JBL website. And yeah, hope you all enjoyed the review. Please like, subscribe, and leave a comment below if you feel that there's anything that I haven't covered. All right, thanks a lot for watching. Bye for now.